Good evening, everyone, uh, and welcome to the um, April 20th virtual town board meeting. Um, I would like to just uh, before we get started, uh, well, actually, what we'll do is uh, start with the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we will proceed with the rest of the meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United America. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. So um, if, I'm, I'm working off my phone, so if everyone just would uh, give me a few moments to get a statement up uh, regarding um, the uh, conduct of tonight's meeting. Um, so I have confirmed with the town's council that tonight's meeting has been convened in accordance with the governor's March 13, 2020 executive order 202-1, uh, which suspends certain provisions of the open meeting laws to allow a municipal board to convene a meeting via, via video conferencing. And in accordance with the executive order, the public has been provided with the ability to view tonight's work session meeting and a transcript will be provided at a later date. I have done a roll call of the board meetings of the board members and there is a quorum present for the meeting. I've also confirmed with the town clerk that this meeting has been duly noted. Noticed, excuse me, sorry. Okay. So uh, we'll get started with the, um, the agenda just uh, very shortly. And uh, Neil, maybe you could actually put it up and that way I won't have to uh, work off my phone. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd like to make a, a motion to accept the minutes of the April 6, 2020 meeting. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and so during this period when we are having virtual meetings, of course, public comments can be submitted on any resolution um, or any matter of town business to our town clerk at D. McGrogan at Hyde Park NY .us. Uh, So just a few updates before we get started on the resolutions. Um, the first, I um, would like to just inform everyone that um, on our conference call with the county today, uh, our county executive uh, informed all the municipalities, the cities, towns, and villages that we should be aware that there is going to be a significant reduction in sales tax and mortgage tax uh, for 2020. And of course, this is going to have significant impact on our budget. Uh, so um, at this point in time, they are predicting a 40% reduction in sales tax. So uh, besides um, property taxes, uh, revenue is generated through uh, sales and mortgage tax. So we will be looking at our budgets and trying to find places that we can trim, uh, trim different expenses. Um, and you know we're, we're taking it as it comes. The county executive did mention that a lot of revenue is generated through grocery through the grocery stores. So um, although much of that is tax free, uh, so we are you know we're wait, waiting and watching, seeing where it's going. But uh, we will be looking to uh, cut costs wherever we can to compensate for that reduced revenue. Um, there's a few additional updates regarding uh, the uh, adaptions or adoptions that we've all had to make in response to COVID-19. And um, we have been all working really hard. In fact, uh, we agreed today that it's actually harder uh, to be doing so many of our meetings via Zoom and uh, spending a lot of time keeping everyone in the loop. So that's been um, effective, appreciate all our department heads and employees that are going above and beyond to continue the work of local government. So, uh, but we do have some expectations that the limitations on mass gatherings will continue uh, through the end of May. Uh, and that is absolutely going to impact our Memorial Day parade and service. Um, I reached out to Micah Thanis today to let him know that uh, that is likely to be canceled because of the limitation on mass gatherings. 
And so I look forward to talking uh, with uh, Mr. Athanas about other ways that we can uh, <coughs> um, our veterans uh, at Memorial Day. Uh, we will also um, be, uh, you'll see a resolution on the agenda tonight, allowing the town's recreation department to participate in a program called Amped for Camp, uh, which is would essentially be a virtual camp as a substitute uh, for our, our summer program. Um, we don't have confirmation as of yet that that will act, that our summer camp will be canceled, but there are a lot of indications that it likely will. Uh, the Department of Health is not um, issuing any type of permit for pools or for camps or bungalows or for uh, any other um, short term uh, summer type programs. So it is likely that that also will be canceled. But, you know, I applaud the rec director and the rec leader for seeking alternatives and we'll keep everyone apprised of that as we move ahead. Um, and I know that Neil has been really hard at work. Um, in addition to organizing the town board Zoom meetings, he's been, uh, tele he's been working with the planning board and the ZBA uh, to provide um, those meetings on, on YouTube as well. Um, and that's a great service. The ZBA has uh, not been uh, televised and in the past, so now people can really uh, um, take advantage of this, this time and uh, see what the ZBA is doing. Um, so I know that Neil also has some updates um, on community outreach as uh, Hyde Park's response to the COVID-19 crisis has um, evolved. So Neil, would you like to give those sure. updates? Yep, so uh, we sent out a request uh, to ask people to volunteer um, and we put a link up on our website um, and it's Hyde Park uh, NY.us and you can go right to the left here to click <laughs> for volunteering um, and you just fill out the form and you say what you're interested in, in doing. Um, we received, we gathered about 37 volunteers so far um, and 14 of which are phone volunteers and understandably a lot of people would prefer to just do phone calls. Uh, if they don't feel secure about shopping for people, uh, doing any kind of face-to-face -face visit with somebody. So uh, that's very understandable, but the, the, the people who have been doing the phone calls, we've actually, we have a list of about 4,700 residents who are over 60. And uh, we've called thousands of them so far. And I just, I can't, Dave is one of our phone volunteers and I just can't thank them enough. Um, and the response has been really fantastic because most people are just grateful that someone is out there that cares. Um, so we've gotten a lot of like, just thank you for checking in and I'm fine. And you know, we remind them to check on their neighbors, et cetera. So it's been a really good service, but we've also actually done shopping for a number of people. Uh, we've. Uh, had some people, Beth Colt made some masks. Uh, we, uh, um, I'm gonna forget her name. I'm sorry if you're watching. Um, some other people have made masks and we've distributed them. And uh, the Friends of Hyde Park have actually ordered 500 masks. 335 of them are already accounted for, for uh, essential businesses around town. So uh, the Anderson Center, um, Food pantries, gas stations, delis, veterinarians, and restaurants have all said, yes, we'd, we'd love them. So um, I'm, we're, we're very grateful for Friends of Hyde Park. Uh, we also, in the process of this, we'd ask people, instead of the people calling up to, get, to give out a phone number, instead of their own phone number, just a central hotline or a central, sorry, not a hotline, a central community outreach line. And we are going live with that line. So now it's not just if you get a phone call, but this uh, phone line, let me put it up on the screen, will be available to call. It's not a hotline. Um, you will get, is that up on screen, folks? Can you see that? Yeah. Good. yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Um, <laughs> the number is 845-366-9958. You won't get a live person. You'll get a message. Uh, it'll sound a lot like me. And... Uh, <laughs> This, it's not a hotline, so it's not for emergencies. If you have an actual emergency, please call 911. Um, but it's a place where you can leave a message and let us know if you or someone else needs help with food deliveries, prescription pickups, uh, information about food pantries or other, other programs in order to get food. Um, 
And it just, I can't stress enough that we have a limited number of volunteers. So we, we, we do the best to meet your needs. Uh, we might send you an, to another source, um, but we're gonna try our best. And like I said, it, we, I showed you the volunteer, how to sign up for the volunteer. So if anybody else is out there and wants to volunteer, that would really be appreciated. That's great. And thank you so much. It's really wonderful work you're doing. Um, and I would strongly encourage uh, residents to um, go to duchessny.gov for additional information. It's a great website. It does uh, update the information on COVID illnesses, um, recoveries uh, by municipality um, every day. And so there's other links on that website as well, especially to the Duchess BNNY um, uh, business news business network, uh, which has all the information on the assistance programs uh, the, that are being provided through the state. And just one further update and actually a request on that item uh, on the conversation, uh, the call today with the county executive, they uh, let us know that Congress is considering an additional bill, uh, COVID 3.5, that will be um, uh, providing additional stimulus monies. Uh, but the prior bills did not include any federal funding for municipalities. So uh, we are asking people, residents to reach out to their um, elected uh, officials, Congressman Delgado, Senator Jill Brand, Senator Schumer, to let them know how important this is to uh, the continuation of services and to controlling the tax impact of, of the, uh, the virus. So um, if people have those, uh, those contact numbers available, uh, that'd be great to reach out. We can put a post up tomorrow on our Facebook page that can provide the contact info. But you know, we really do need to have um, our presence felt that uh, it's going to not just impact businesses, uh, but really will directly impact residents in terms of loss of services or increases in their uh, property taxes. So um, I'll be reaching out to our elected officials tomorrow and strongly encouraging everyone else to do the same. So um, does anyone else have any additional updates? I, uh, I know that um, our rec leader, Teresa uh, Gasparini is working on some additional programs. We had a very successful um, uh, breakfast with the Easter Bunny. And you know everyone is really working hard to uh, adapt to the situation uh, with a lot of creativity and um, nimbleness. So I will say that. So uh, unless there's any other updates, I would uh, ask to entertain an amendment to um, uh, resolution number five that uh, would add the words uh, nunk pro tunk to the resolution with the. Um, uh, the Chamber of Commerce uh, contribution to the maintenance of the sign. I make a motion. I'll second that. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And then you'll notice um, on the agenda, we are also um, asking the board to agree to add resolutions seven and eight. Uh, seven uh, revises the fee schedule to reflect a change in a um, reapplication uh, um, fee for a project that is of a uh, larger magnitude um, because at the current time our, our uh, fee schedule requires a 75% uh, payment to re-up your um, building permit fee and, and that's certainly fair uh, for smaller projects and certainly fair for projects that extend beyond uh, what is a, a logical time frame, but you know, for very large projects like the Bellfield, the Inn at Bellfield, um, and some of the very substantial projects, one year is really not enough, especially with the delay in non-essential construction. So that is uh, resolution seven uh, is amending the fee schedule to reflect that change, and then number eight is uh, allowing Bellfield to utilize that re amended fee. So may I have a motion to add those two items to the agenda? Make a, a motion for resolution seven and eight. And I'll second that. Okay, and all in favor? Aye. 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 
Okay, great. You have to do all opposed. Oh, all opposed. By Zoom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay. Or do a roll call vote. Otherwise, is that right, Warren? Okay. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, why don't we do a roll call? Yeah. That, that sounds better. So, may I have a roll call, uh, Madam Clerk? Councilman Krupnik. Aye. Councilman Ray. Aye. Councilman Marine. Aye. Councilman Schneider. Aye. And Supervisor Rohr. Aye. So for each resolution, we have to do a roll call? Uh, no, it's just the problem is that when you do, um, when you say all those in favor and you're doing it by Zoom, you don't know if anybody's opposed to it unless you say all those opposed. So okay. we either should do a roll call or you can do a... Uh, um, all those opposed. All those opposed. Okay, we'll do all those opposed on the, on the committee. <laughs> okay. Shall we begin resolutions? Yeah, yeah I think we're ready. Okay. Resolution 420-1 of 2020. Resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Board to reappoint Nunk Pro Tunk Robin Watska, temporary seasonal laborer for the Town of Hyde Park Recreation Department. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, resolution 420-2 of 2020. Resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Board to allow the Town of Hyde Park Recreation Department to join the Amped for Camp Consortium which will uh, provide virtual camps for Dutchess County municipalities during the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Okay. Resolution 4-20-3 of 2020, resolution authorizing Carolyn Miller, confidential secretary to the Town of Hyde Park supervisor to carry over accrued vacation time. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Uh, all opposed? Resolution 420-4 of 2020, resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Board to grant the Calvert Vaught Preservation Alliance permission to place a New York State historic roadside marker for the point, AKA Hoyt House at 91 Old Post Road, Statsburg. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. And all opposed? Resolution 420-5 of 2020 as amended. Resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Supervisor to execute an agreement with the Hyde Park Chamber of Commerce in the maintenance of the Welcome to Hyde Park sign. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Resolution 420-6 of 2020. Resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Board to accept the proposal of Clark Patterson Lee for engineering and construction administration services for the Town of High Park Recreation Dinsmore Park Improvement Project. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? Okay. This is a resolution 420-7 of 2020 that was added at the dais. Resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Board to amend the 2020 fee schedule for the Town of Hyde Park. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? And this is the final one that was added at the dais. Resolution 420-8 of 2020. Resolution authorizing the reduction of the renewal building permit application for T-Rex High Park in conjunction with the Anna Belfield project. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Okay, so um, I think that's it for now. Um, May 4th is our next meeting. Uh, it looks like we will likely uh, be on the virtual, continuing uh, virtually. It does sound as if we may, uh, beginning in June 1st, move 
a little bit more towards opening up certain parts of, of local government. So um, we are hopeful that the current trends continue and that we will be able to do so. Just wanna remind everyone that uh, your town government is still accessible. Uh, please do uh, go to the website to find out the, to locate the numbers to, to call. Um, and your, with the department that you're looking to speak with will call you back. Um, uh, it's best if you leave a message directly at that extension. Uh, and, um, you know, we will, we are doing our best to uh, make sure that we're continuing with all operations that we're able to. I know that the highway department is currently out uh, uh, filling potholes, um, that they are working with half their staff on certain days and the other half um, on other days. So um, I think that you'll be seeing people, the, the highway department out there um, pretty regularly. So uh, I don't know if anyone else has any further comments or more points to make. Uh, I have one final update on the sewer that, you know, we uh, had a quite a nice momentum going, but we feel it's very important to have that part public participation and to make it as easy as possible for the public to participate. So we are postponing the uh, rescheduled public hearing. We have not scheduled it until we have further information as to when we can hold that in public. Uh, so that's, that's my update. And, um, and with that, I would ask for a motion to adjourn. I make a motion. I second that. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I hope uh, everyone takes care and as well, there are 80 people in Hyde Park who do have COVID-19 and, and our prayers and thoughts and wishing them all and a speedy recovery and, and good health to their family. Okay, take care everyone. Thanks, Supervisor.